Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our third monthly episode of our live webinar. Today's topic, smart scouting to make farming easier. Firstly, I'd like to introduce my colleagues. Uh, starting from right to left, we have Sadiq Jacobs, who is our lead drone operator. We have Devin Osborne, who's right next to me, is our in-house agronomist. We have JC van der Velt, who is our client success manager. And Sizwe Kunene, your host, the client success agent. Our guest speaker this afternoon is Alsha Yobert. She heads up Malume Broidery. Um, Alsha has a, bra a broad uh, vast of uh, intelligence within the agricultural space. She had the opportunity to direct pest controls, practices, and the subtropical fruit industry towards integrated pest management practices, which is more sustainable and has less negative impacts on biodiversity. Welcome, Alsha. Hello, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity. Great, great, great. Okay, so as always, we'd like to pick your guys' brains just to see what you're feeling. Today's question, what's the most convenient way you guys would appreciate us uh, giving you information based on our product? So how would you like us to get a hold of you to give you more information on what Aerobotics is doing? We have five answers there, which are multiple choice. The first answer is email, WhatsApp, SMS, a phone call, or have Cizwe visit you in person. Go ahead, guys. Give us what you think. All right, the poll should be launching in a few seconds. All right, we'll come back to that question. We seem to be having a bit of a hiccup there. Let's dive straight into it. I'm going to pass on to Devin and Elsha to uh, give us some more insight information. Devin, take it away. Thanks, Izwe, and uh, thanks again, Elsha, for being here. We really appreciate you dialing in today and taking time out of your, your busy day, I'm sure. Um, so I'm just gonna ask you a couple of questions on scouting. And uh, scouting generally uh, trends in the industry at the moment. Um, and the first question is, what is the biggest mistake that you see scouts making today in the industry? Thank you, Devon. Well, scouting is an important management tool in commercial farming systems. However, uh, um, the efficient and inaccurate scouting is, to my mind, what I find the biggest mistakes we make. Ineffectivity is due to scouts not being trained well and also when management aren't guiding scouts well in the orchard and that leads to inaccurate scouting. So the scout must be trained well to identify the pest or disease and then they have to scout regularly. The farm manager must be directly involved in tasking the scouts and the farm manager himself must be involved in analyzing the reports. That is really, really important. Important. So the farm manager plays a key role in the effective scouting. That, that's a valid point, and I, and I totally agree with you. I mean, we, do, we at the end of the day, the farmer needs to spray based on information that is true. And at the end of the day, it doesn't it doesn't only come down to the economics; it also comes down to sustainability and saving costs and saving spray applications where he does, and also not spraying unnecessarily. So th thank you for that. So the next question is, why is it important to scouts? Okay, well, scouting provides management with regular overviews of the pest and disease pressure in a specific orchard. Now, nowadays, we scout per orchard, and then you know what is going on in your orchard by scouting effectively. Then you can apply your control efforts. It's been proven more successful when you respond quickly to pest or disease outbreaks. And also many, many IPM systems nowadays rely heavily on scouting. So your scouts tell you when your disease pressure are picking up and that is when you, you apply your IPM strategy. 
the scouting also gives you a good indication of um, whether your control practices has exceeded. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with that. And I mean, it's really important to keep track of these scouts as well. And also to look back on historic scouts and also um, keep record and see the trends that are actually happening in the orchards. So I think that that's really important. All yes, right. definitely. That's Thank great. you. So uh, how can growers scout more efficiently? Um, following on, on the two questions that we've, we've just come through. I think through proper scout planning and knowing your pest well, uh, we can scout more efficiently. We can also scout more efficiently when we, our scouts are um, scouting a dedicated area in the orchard. And that is something that is scouting for the future, but something that we are, we are already seeing in our orchards. So we want to also um, train our scouts to go and look for the areas in our orchards that are stressed and I'm not, not really performing well because we know that pest and disease attacks those areas in the orchard first. Then lastly, it's important to motivate your scouts. So efficiency is directly correlated to your motivation of your scouts. Remember, they are doing a repetitive job. They're doing the same thing over and over. However, over time, the outcomes are changing. So you need to really encourage them and praise them and say, thank you so much. Your last week you helped us um, by identifying this new pest in our area and so forth. So I think, I think we can, by uh, managing them well, make them more efficient. Yes, no, of course. Uh, and then going back to your first point, um, you said it's, it's very important to, to monitor, um, to go back to the same locations and maybe have data trees that you go back and scout. But it's also important to, to do your randomized scouting and your scouts based on the health of your trees. Uh, I think that's also really important. Yes. All right, our next question. So, I know, going on from, from, from that question, how do you see scouting evolving as we go forward in the future? Well, future scouting can include regular monitoring of areas in the orchard where the trees are not healthy, like I said earlier. Um, but yeah, I want to add an example, like the stress index used um, by NDVI. Um, NDVI... So uh, give us a second there. We seem to be having a bit of a, a lag. Are they also can you hear us? I'll show you, we lost you for a second, so if you wouldn't mind just starting again there. Alsha, can you hear us? Yes, I can, I can hear you. Uh, so, sorry, can hear you, you dropped off um, in, in the middle of that question. Do you, do you mind if we repeat it? Yes, no, no, not, not a problem at all. So yeah. I was saying that, that we can use NDVI um, it's a stress index that we use to identify areas that are not performing well in the orchard. And these are the areas that, that we are seeing scouting evolving to. Um, scouting regularly in these areas enables us to identify the pests. We know the pests attack those trees first. And it is also something to, to note there is that we are becoming more efficient in the future now with software that works for us. Um, the software saves data. It saves me all the time of punching data into the computer, wasting my time, more time for me to spend in the orchard. That makes a lot of sense, Alsha. Thanks. So, uh, I mean, that, this, this question is quite similar to your previous one. Um, how does technology play a role in scouting currently at the moment? Yeah, technology definitely plays a huge role. There's a good place in the market for technologies that has been developed well. Um, technology is used to identify the problems and it helps us to make scouting more accurate. Like you said earlier, we can track the scout. We see where the scouting has happened. That is something that technology enables us to do. Okay, great. Um, that was quite insightful, guys. So I think next, what we would like to show you guys is how our product actually works. Uh, and I think firstly, what we're going to do is set up a scout um, and you guys will get a better feeling of how that works all right so 
what you are seeing now is our main portal, the dashboard. Uh, just to give you some background information here. Um, from top left, you have your dashboard there, you have your monitor crop performance. And then what we're going to focus on right now is setting up a new scout. Top right hand side there, we've got our plus signal there, which you are going to click on. So we have two different types of scouts. You can either use uh, a plan scout that you would like to set up maybe in the morning, or you can do a random scout if you're on the field. Let's plan a new scout. So the orchard we're looking at, you would want to put your health markers on, which will indicate to you which are the most stressed trees within the orchard. You then click on the little man with his arms out in the bottom left. The most important things here are to name your scout and the date in which you would want your scout performed. So if we wanted our scouts to go out tomorrow being Friday, and then literally start with the trees that you are most concerned about. So here we're looking at the trees that are in dark red, moving to your orange um, and a faded light green. Devin, would you say that the left-hand side of that orchard would probably be the first place you want to start? Yes, no, definitely. I think it's important to, to target the stressed trees as, as Asha was, was telling us. Okay. So you're dropping your markers and wherever the first marker that you drop will be the first tree that you are going to go to within the orchard. So as you see the dots there that are added, will then start to create a map for you within the orchard that will take you through to all the exact trees that you would like to focus on. So as you see, we've dropped about four of them there. This saves you a lot of time and a lot of money instead of going through your whole orchard and looking at each individual tree, you can now go directly to that tree. Uh, the most important of notes in this is you only need an internet connection when you are syncing information from your desktop or laptop to your device, which you would take out into the field. Once in the field, you don't require any internet connection. Your scouts can just go out and do their scouting as per usual. Once done setting up your scout on the left-hand side there, the turquoise color, you click Save Scout Mission. And that now is all set up for you, which you will have on the top there. So your scout title, the field in which you would want to scout, the date, and it is incomplete, obviously. And because we haven't done it, we have no markers there. So we have a video that uh, our agronomist did for us. It is a screen share. Um, it, you guys will get a much better outlook of how to actually scout within the field and how the application works. Devin, if you'd like to take us through that. Yes, yeah, sure. Um, I'm just gonna take it back a second. No problem. Mind. Um, so once you log into the Airview Scouting app, this will be your main dashboard. Um, and in this main dashboard, you can see you, go, you can download your drone data, which allows you to view the visual imagery of your orchards while you're in the field. Um, and, you can, and then there's a sync button tab, which allows you to sync the data from Airview platform into the scouting app. And that brings in all the scout missions that you've created. And then we have the scout mode, which is really the most important one in the app. And if you click on scout mode, it takes you into your scout dashboard. And in your scout dashboard, you have scout history, which is scouts that you've started and, uh, and you've completed or maybe not completed yet. And you still need to go back and finish that. Uh, we also have scout missions, and these are the missions that have been created in Airview platform and are still waiting to, to be completed. And what's also nice is if you're in the field and you randomly come across an issue, you can create a new scout from which you can collect data and all of that will sync back up into the Airview platform. I'm just gonna show you uh, a scout that was done by a farmer in the field. Um, and this is an aerobotic scout that was automatically created based on the health data of the farm. So what you can see now is just an overview of the farm and all the scout markers that have been placed. On the, on the map, you can see little blue um, dots and that is your, well, the farmer's GPS coordinates. And you can see that as he's moving through uh, the, the orchard. 
So once the farmer gets to this, the scout marker, he is able to, to find out what the problem is. And every will actually ask him, is this tree a problem or is it not? Does it have any issues? Um, and then once you get to that tree, you add a scout marker. And once you've dropped this marker, you're able to say whether it's a pest, disease, or weed-related issue. And it also allows you to add notes, take notes of what you're seeing in the field. You can also take a voice recording and also add photos. So you can see that this farmer has found Phytophthora and he's now gonna take a picture of this disease. So as you can see on the, on the stem of the tree, you can see um, the oozing effects. That's probably an early stage Phytophthora infection. Um, and the farmer is now taking images which he's keeping record of. Um, and once he's completed the scouts, these images will sink back into the area of the platform. So this evening, if, when he's in his office or tomorrow morning when he wakes up, he can go back and, and reflect upon what he's found in the field the previous day and possibly take actions on it. All right, so what you're able to do in the scouting app is take notes, drop um, scout markers, uh, record pests, record diseases, weed, and also irrigation issues. And you can also say whether the, the intensity of the disease is low, medium, or high pressure. Uh, and then this all sinks straight up back into the AirView platform where you're able to visually view this on a map. What do you think about uh, our, our platform AirView Scout there, Alsha? See, where that looks very, very good. Thank you, Dave, and that was really interesting. Great. So this is all good to have um, using out in the field, but then what do you do with the information that you've collected here? What do you, how do you then take this and, and, and make it of some importance if you want to share it with your colleagues, if you have farm managers, or if you want to track all of this information? And we're going to show you how to download this report. Yeah, so as Cesar said, we, we also compile all this information into a report format. Uh, most farmers like it in a CSV format, but we are also able to download it in a PDF format. Um, and this allows farmers, for the farmers to take actions on what they have found in the field. Uh, so Elsha, a question for you. Why is reporting important for scouting? <laughs> Thanks, Devin. Anyone who knows me knows that I like data, maybe too much. Uh, um, reports forms the backbone of decision making on the farm so like you explained we can go back to that exact tree and we can see what the scout has found right that is data now if I gather the data over time add it to a report with a date next to the the data I am able to draw a graph for example and if I can graph my my disease pressure or my insect um, abundance in the orchard, um, I build a history of that, of that orchard and I learn from it. If I have a, an adequate report, I'm also able to apply a threshold value to the scouting that has been done and that'll in the end affect my decision making whether to spray or whether not to spray yet. So the report is really, really important for me. Um, the CSV file format is most useful because I can go and filter the data, I can go and graph it in, in my own way. That's great, Elsa, thank you for that. Um, just before we move on, for all our guests that are logged in, um, you are more than welcome to answer the poll with just an A, B, C, D, uh, or E within the chat section there. Um, we have our uh, panelists that are going through those questions and we'll be throwing it into a lucky draw uh, as we speak for our prize. Next up, we want to show you how to actually download your report now. So top right, once again, we have the download scout report marker there. You would click on that. Now decide on which you would like to download, whether it be a pest report or whether it be a disease report. So let's start with the pest. The date in which you would like the, the report to start from let's say the 1st of August, to the date in which you'd like it to conclude. We will have that on the 23rd. You have two options. You have the option to download it as a PDF report or a CSV. And we have done it as CSV, which my colleague Devin will take us through to give you more understanding on that. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, so, so this is basically what our test reports look like. The disease format is, is very much the same. Uh, so if we just explain it a little bit. So on the far left, we have the date in which the sky was taken. And then next to that, we also record the orchard name, also the crop type, the crop family, the pests that were found, the counts of the pests, as well as the number of markers that were dropped. So if we look at the first uh, marker um, for apples and ballworm, we can see that one marker was dropped, which basically means that the farmer went to one specific tree or one location within the orchard, and in that location, he found two ballworms. That's some informative stuff. Also, would you, something like this, um, would you recommend it to the farmers? Do you think this is an easier way of keeping notes um, and having a much more professional way of, of looking out on what your orchards uh, are doing at the moment? Yes, definitely. This provides me with an overview. I can quickly just eyeball the data and see, okay, there's a problem. There, there might be um, some intervening to do. Okay, that's great. Um, Recently, we hosted quite a, a huge event across the country um, in 11 different venues, uh, which was a whole nother page in agriculture. Uh, it was called the Future of Farming. Uh, our colleagues were sent out to all corners of South Africa. My colleague, Devin, is just going to show us uh, the key moments and the, and the key information that we, we pushed out to our clients and to everyone within the agriculture space. Yeah, thanks, Cizwe. Um So yeah, as Cizwe said, I'm sure most of you already know that we recently launched a new technology called AeroView Drone Scouts. Uh, for those of you that haven't heard yet, so I'm just gonna briefly take you through it. Um, so in the previous webinars, we've spoken about satellite data that comes at a 10 meter resolution and also drone data that allows farmers to manage their orchards on a per tree basis. But our latest revolutionary technology is ready to change the way data is collected in the field through sub millimeter imagery. And this resolution opens up a whole new level of possibilities of what information can be extracted from these images and taking the analysis down to a leaf and a fruit level. So looking at this satellite image, um, and this is actually of a potato field, the variations are clear, but it's not v visible what the cause of this variation is. So to investigate this issue, um, AeroView has planned an automated scout route based on uh, machine learning models and the health uh, status of the field and rather than having a human go and investigate we're now able to send a drone to each location and when the drone hovers over these spots it hovers at about one or two meters above the, the crop and it then takes images of, of of what it sees at these locations and these location these images that are taken are all imported into AirView, where um, the farmer can have a look at what's going on and just get a better understanding of, of what's going on in the middle of the field. Because some farmers don't have the time to walk through the whole field and see what's going on. So it's just much easier for the farmer to get a, a great understanding of the overall picture of what's going on. Um, but we take it a bit further, and the real value is that we're actually training machine learning algorithms to run these images and extract leaf level and fruit level information. So just looking at one photo of one tree, for example, uh, we're able to see pest damage, we're able to see deficiencies, toxicities, um, we're able to count flowers as well as even count fruits. And, and this is revolutionary and has never been seen in the ag space before and it's going to take uh, fruit farming to a whole other level. Um, Alsha, do you have any comments on, on this technology that, I've, that we've recently used? Thank you, Devin. That is great. It's really interesting and exciting. All right, so like we mentioned when we started, uh, it is time to mention our winner of the competition. Um, me and Devin are going to do a bit of a drum roll. I hope everyone is ready and excited. Drum roll, Devin. And our winner is Hannes Struberg. Hannes, you are a winner of a Smart Scout handset with four and a half thousand rand. Proudly sponsored to you by AeroView. Well done, Hannes. Lastly, I would like to just thank, firstly and foremost, you guys who are our clients um, and our guests on this webinar. It is our third one. Please look out for our monthly webinar that we host on different dates. We will be releasing soon information on the upcoming one. 
also find on the page right now is now sign up uh, onto AeroView at www.aerobotics.com. You can download AeroView Scout both on Apple and on Google. So that's for Android and for iPhones. We also have a support number, which is WhatsApp. That is a 24 hour line. We also have our next webinar coming in November. So please spread the word. We always look forward to uh, having you guys. Lastly, Elsha, thank you very much for joining us. Your expertise have been uh, quite top notch. We look forward to having you on another one. <laughs> thank you very much. I really enjoyed it. Thanks yeah. guys, thanks for listening. Happy scouting. Happy scouting. Happy scouting. <laughs> Bye. Cheers guys. <laughs>